there in David Christel. Um, we're here today to present the key of, to Rockland County to Millicent Ivy Mackle. As you know, the key to the county is awarded to a person who engages in a truly unique act, makes a special contribution to Rockland, or whose actions bring great pride to our county. In this case, she hit all three. That is what Ivy Mackle did when she stood up to hate in her own neighborhood. In her mind, her actions were just very matter of fact and wonderfully well intentioned, but it truly was a moment where she made all of Rockland County shine. Someone, and we still don't know who, sprayed any Semitic graffiti in front of several homes near Ivy's house in Ramble. Beyond the fear that struck in the hearts of many, this is a black eye for the entire county of Rockland. Ivy took chalk and drew hearts in front of these houses in contrast to the signs of hate. It was a small gesture, but it was one that spoke volumes. What Ivy told people who hate, not here and not in my neighborhood. She and her husband, Dan, have lived in this block for five years. They have a, they have a 14 month old twins here, a boy and a girl. They've been described as the Irish one and the Spanish one, as I recollect. <laughs> Ivy wants to know that her children and all children will grow up in an atmosphere of inclusion where everyone lives together peacefully, no matter what their race or religion or ethnic background. She set an example for the rest of Rockland to follow. In the face of hate, she made a statement of love and respect. It was seemingly a small gesture, but like Bobby Thompson's home run that won the National League pennant in 1951, Ivy's action was another shot heard round the world. Soon afterwards, right across the Hudson at just about the same time, my Westchester County counterpart, County Executive Rob, Rob Astorino, spoke out against a hate crime, vandals who painted swastikas. It was reported that some adopted what I will call the Ivy effect by drawing chalk cards where the swastikas were. During a very dark time in recent history, there were people who stood up against blind hatred aimed at one group. At Israeli's National Holocaust Memorial, there is an exhibit to honor 11,000 righteous Gentiles, non-Jews who risked their own lives to stand up for what was right during the Holocaust. All it takes is one person to make a difference. Ivy Mackle today is that one person. She made that difference. Her actions spoke with the voice of thousands. She brought unity and pride in a manner that no rally nor parade could have. 